Hey Pisces, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of November general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. I'm going to tell you right now, you guys reading is quite spiritual. It has a lot of spiritual overtones to it. Um, the song that I heard when I was um, meditating over you guys' energy is Grandma's Hands by Bill Withers. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, the energies that I was picking up in pre-shuffle, and it does not limit it to the reading because we'll pick up other signs, I'm sure, was um, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Libra, and I feel like I'm missing one. Taurus, okay, sun, moon, rise, and Venus, specifically the sun signs, because I got major arcana. So you had the justice card, that's Libra. You had the devil card, that's Capricorn. And then you had the world card, right? So again, the fixed signs. So I feel like for some of you all, you know, you're dealing with individuals in that situation. Now, again, here's the spiritual overtone of that energy. I feel like for some of you all, you may be celebrating an anniversary or mourning the anniversary of a mother figure, either a mother or a grandmother who has passed on. And they could be of any of those signs or you or your love interest could have those strong placements in your sign. But more than anything, what I'm getting is that you have an ancestor who is a motherly figure who is watching over you and protecting you while you're going through some type of transition when it comes to your love life. Because I feel like it's with all that major kind of energy is like it's something that's very transformative that's getting ready to happen in you guys life when it comes to love. Some of you guys could be going through divorce. Or some of you all could, you know, on a more positive note, be going through some type of um, advancement in love where there's engagement, moving in together and things like that. But I feel like some of you guys are wishing that you could talk to your grandmother, your mother figure and just get some type of wisdom. Now, I also got messages of some of you all wanting a type of love that, you know, your grandparents had or your parents have, a, you know, longevity, a long lasting relationship. And also I did get a message for some of you all that. Um, before a grandparent or a mother, some type of female figure that's very influential to you passed or no, cause I'm also getting something with someone who has dementia where they can't remember things, but I feel like there was some communication with this female, strong female influential, um, individual wherein they may have warned you about signs that they've seen about your person and was telling you like, yeah, this ain't the one for you or it's something about this person that I don't necessarily trust. It's something that's making you think about this person and what they said to you and it's making you reflect on it right now in this moment is what I'm getting. But also, because even now I'm going back to a lot of you all are saying, I want that old fashioned type of love that my grandparents and my parents had, okay, is what I'm, what I'm picking up also, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to park the deck, change the card at the top and the bottom. Initial C, M, J, D, E, and U. Also H. I'm hearing, I also heard Hattie. That's what I'm saying. I'm hearing something with elders also. doesn't have to apply to everyone because this is general, but I'm putting it out there. Okay. We're going to change the card at the top and the bottom for your clarifying deck as well. And as always, you guys know, there are absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks right now. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. Okay. Currently at the bottom of your general energy deck, you have the five of swords. That's what I'm saying. The five of swords is a card of conflict and disagreement. And I want you to notice right here that there's somebody who's laying down and they're possibly, you know, deceased or something like that. That's what I'm saying. I feel like someone has left. And also I want to tell you, I did see earlier on the star card, star card, which fulfillment and healing, also Aquarius energy. But I feel, ooh, and I was, I'm just noticing this and I was just getting ready to say, you see how you see these two stars, you know how they say when stars shine and glimmer, it's like wish on a star or something like that, or girl and boy, look at this. I'm not joking. As soon as I pick up the deck, look, star card. And I, I was literally hearing that this person could be the brightest star in the sky. Your, your spirit guides, your guardian, this person's guiding you during this time. Cause you know, stars is like the guiding light. So this person is giving you some type of guidance on a spiritual, this is a very spiritual card because it's major arcana, that's spirit energy and that's definite. This person is giving you some type of guidance from the ethers, from a spirit realm. Okay, you just need to pay attention to the messages that you're getting. You could be in conflict with what you're feeling or what you're hearing or what you're thinking because source communication and mental. You could be in conflict with that because five of source is definitely a card of conflict. You could be in conflict with that, but also you know that what it is that you may be fighting for is not worth it. Yeah. 
I'm getting it also. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Strong, Aquarius energy. For sure. And birds are messengers. You see how these birds are surrounding her? Again, some of you guys are divinely protected, surrounded by spirit guides, right? But also, like I said, it's like warning signs because it's like these birds are surrounding her trying to get her attention, but she's still fighting for something. She's not paying those birds any attention. So I feel like for some of you all, even against, you know, your better judgment or what your family or some wise influential because i'm getting a wise influential female figure has told you you may have continued to fight past a situation now you realize like is this really worth fighting for you could have been fighting for a marriage or a relationship over the past four years because i always say you got sort of yes sword down no you have four swords that are down but one sword is upright so some of you guys could be saying i'm gonna keep fighting for this situation both of them have one sword up Something there with that, okay? Uh, and I'm also hearing some of you all could feel like a jackass, okay? I'm going to tell you why. Because even though this is a horse, from a distance, it looks like a bit like a donkey. You know, donkeys are jackasses. So somebody could feel like a jackass. Like, I, I, damn, I'm so stupid. Why didn't I listen? Why didn't I listen to my intuition? Why didn't I listen to what I was being told? Is what I'm getting as well. Because if you look at his face, even though he's the big Thor, you have someone on their knees and someone who's clearly dead right here. He looks a little weary. He doesn't look like he feels victorious, does he? You know? So, let's see what we get for you guys today, okay? We're going to shuffle the deck up right until we get you guys major arcana, which will be the moon card. We will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? So, let's part randomly. Because mm -hmm. a lot of you guys wanted to see the situation for what it was, or you wanted things to be happy, or you felt like this person was your happiness, Okay? Because the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, getting everything that you want and more. But uh, it's something to it. You know, it's something to it. It's just like, it's yeah, it's something to it. I'm just noticing how you have this rat or this mouse right here. And it's almost like he's getting ready to just kind of spoil the party by landing in one of those cups or jumping down. And, you know, rats... Like in, in slang, they call a rat a snitch. Like your grandmother or mother could have been snitched on this person and said, I see this person for what it is. You don't, but I do. But I feel like deep down, you may have wanted to see this person for how you want to see them. And that's not saying that you're ignorant or anything like that. It's just like you want to see the best in this situation is what I'm getting. Okay. So let's go in. Or at one point, they really did make you happy. You could be married to this person also. Because you have a king. Anytime you have kings or queens, they are companions, life partners, consorts. So you can be married to this person. That's why you're trying to, I just heard hell bent on making it work. You have the sun card again. You want to see the best in this individual. Okay. Sun is the most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot. It's positivity. Whenever the sun comes up, a brand new day starts. And it's also Leo energy. So some of you guys can be done with Leo. But I feel like there's confusion here and emotional um, turmoil because seven of cups is emotions. Feelings feel scattered, overly emotional, overwhelmed because there's so much going on. Illusion, confusion. You may have married really young, may have married for stability because Pentacles is about the stability and the foundations. This person may have came and swept you off your feet like a prince or a princess shining armor, you know. But you didn't see this person for who they truly were, for some of you all. But now you're starting to see. Also, some of you guys were not listening to your intuition. Because she's blindfolded, but she can see. And it looks like you see how you see these little bolts. It almost gives you a vibe of like the um, third eye. Because you know that, that blue energy is like the third eye. You could have been engulfed in passion with this person. But some of you all are seeing a situation for what it is at this point. Yeah. Eight of Cups walking away from something that's no longer fulfilling. And you are Cups. You went from the nine to the eight, you know. Mm -hmm. Cups is emotions, feelings. I feel like a lot of you all are over this this cycle. I'm hearing a cycle. Yeah, deceit. They can no longer deceive you, and this is someone that you may be bound to in a karmic marriage or karmic contract because you know with the devil, it's always two people associated and attached to the devil, some type of attachment. Again, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, specifically Sun sign because it's Major Arcana. So that's either a time frame or a um, sign for me specifically. Yeah, some of you guys feel bound and stuck. You just had the Eight of Cups, now you got an Eight of Swords. Some of you guys definitely feel stuck. You could have been with this person for eight plus years. The last eight months could have been absolute hell. Absolute hell. Okay? It literally felt like hell on earth. Okay? 
So let's get yeah, some of you guys are married to this person. Four of Wands, absolutely. You could have stayed in a situation because you have a child or children with this individual. But I'm telling you, look at that. And it definitely could have a child that's a water sign. Doesn't have to be, but you have the tower. Something coming to a crashing halt. You, Aries also, Scorpio season, we're constantly, we're constantly, and I'm hearing constantly. So some of you guys are constantly going through s cycles with this person. But also we are currently in Scorpio season. So some of you guys, there could be some type of reality coming to the surface in Scorpio season. And it may take the strength, some type of strength for you to leave the situation. Again, more um, Leo energy. Okay. So again, the moon card. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And the card that comes before and the card that comes after. This is going to be something that's going to be realized pretty soon. Because we didn't get that far in the deck, okay? So, in front, yep. Some type of ending. And again, something's going to happen in Scorpio season. You have Major Arcana, the Death card, Scorpio. Whoa, okay. Did I not say there could be someone who's deceased, okay? Death card. Someone who's deceased. That is coming into your reality. Who is... They're coming to you in dreams. Um... Listen to your intuition because they're, they're trying to connect with you. And you may feel like you're tripping and you're crazy, but no, no, no. Okay, Judge McCarr, they're, they're calling to you and they're speaking to you from the ethers. These are spirits. These are, these are you know, energies. And he's in the sky and the heavens. Didn't I say you could feel like this person is the brightest star in the sky? This person is guiding, leading you. They're surrounded by stars. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. As I said, there's a very spiritual overtone to you guys reading for sure. Okay, so you have death cards. So that's what I said for some of you guys. Even if you don't feel as though this person has come to you in dreams or visions or anything like that, you may be thinking about their words, okay? And then it, it's making you quite emotional because you're realizing that something that you may have given too much energy to is not, is not going the way that you want it to go, okay? Definitely leaving you all confused because you are cups. Let's see. Let's get a clarifier for the death card. Bottom of the deck, absolutely heartbroken. Some of you are also could be heartbroken over the loss of a grandparent. Again, for some, for most of you, I feel like this has already happened. But if some of you all have lost a mother or a grandmother, because I'm, I'm picking up strong female energy. You know, I'm getting delicate like a rose. And I'm hearing somebody saying that she was sweet as pie. She was tough, but sweet as pie. Um, you have my condolences if that is the case also. Wow, that's interesting. Yes, yeah, so this is very spiritual. You see how you have a castle right here? And I, I just literally heard the kingdom of God. Like like somebody, somebody's grandmother passed around this time or someone could have lost someone recently is what I'm getting as well. And it's heartbreaking. But also someone is anticipating some type of heartbreak with the ending of a situation because the death card is also a permanent ending, a definite ending, Okay. Of a situation. Let's go ahead and part the deck. Yep. And again, I want to say something with a marriage. You have justice. Justice is a piece of marriage. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Also, Libra energy here. Let's get a clarifier for the death card and for the seven of cups. Yeah. Aquarius here in reverse. You got Aquarius, Libra, and um, what is a Gemini here also? Wish fulfillment and healing. You have to reverse. And didn't I say somebody could feel like this person is the brightest star in the sky? Heartbroken. Also, you can have a love interest who has a strong female figure in their life who passed or they're celebrating or mourning their passing also. Yeah. See, it's something with family. Ten of Cups in reverse. It's happily ever after. Marriage, commitment, happy home life with the family. You got in reverse. And somebody wishes for some type of, um, I just heard reinstatement. And that's not typically a term that you would use when you're talking about reconciliation. But I'm hearing reinstatement. Okay, something could be happening in Aquarius season also. Um, also, I'm hearing um, somebody's tired of pouring their all into a situation. They're becoming exhausted. Especially when it comes to family. Yeah, somebody's tired of pouring so much and putting in all the work. Absolutely. You just had the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And now you have, the, I mean, the Ten of Cups and now you have the Ten of Pentacles. Again, this is about a home life. You have a child there. Someone could possibly be pregnant because like there's a baby bump here. Again, there's a loss of stability. And somebody, something has ended. It doesn't have to be a physical death, but, you know, something could have ended. 
And I, I do feel like, again, it's a Scorpio. It could have started in October because you have those two tens. That's October. And, you know, we're just leaving that energy. So let's get a clarifying for the death card for absolutely. You see how that flipped out? Look at that. Sun card reverse. You are the moon and you have sun card reverse. Again, energy of Leo, Major Arcana. Somebody's light could have been dimmed because li literally they could have passed. But more than anything, somebody is feeling like they're no longer happy. So they want a situation to end in a relationship. Because again, the sun, the opposite of the sun is the moon. That is your energy. But, you know, the opposite of the sun and the moon is some type of fear-based thoughts. Um, somebody not seeing the, the vibrancy or the happiness in the situation. It's just a lack of joy. And that's why it's something is to end. Or someone is thinking that, okay, something is over. Okay? Um, ooh, I just heard somebody has not been happy in a while. Huh. Heard something about four also earlier when I first started your reading um April, somebody's birthday could be in April. Or again, you know, four years. You could have been with this person for four years. Or your love, your loved one could have been deceased for four years now. Also, you may be hearing from this person or having a dream about this person within the next four days. You have a major arcana clarifying a major arcana. So again, that's definite energy. Somebody's gonna be visited in a dream. And I'm hearing that somebody's going to feel like it's just unreal. Somebody could be waking up crying out of their sleep because it's, it's, it was so real, but it felt unreal. Like, it's a very confusing energy. And it makes a lot of sense because you have the Seven of Cups. There's confusion. Somebody's confused by some messages that they're getting. Yeah, because the sun shines a light on the situation, but it's in reverse. So someone is confused about the message that they're getting in the dream. Because, yeah, this, is, this could be messages also in the dream state. So let's clarify the Seven of um, Cups. For Pisces, Summer Rising Venus. Seven of Cups for Pisces. Okay. Yeah, the card flip up. <laughs> There's messages coming in for some of you all. Eight of Wands, fast moving communication coming out of the blue unexpectedly. Again, um, Leo Sash Aries, strong Leo energy here. This person could, some messages can be coming from a Leo individual. Somebody could have passed in Leo season. Also, like I said, some messages are going to be coming to you very quickly. Somebody, a lot of you all intuition is just going to be opening up out of the blue during this cycle. Now, keep in mind, we are in Scorpio season, your fellow water sign. And this could be raising and heightening, heightening your intuition, right? Because this is water-based and Scorpio, all water signs, right, are very intuitive because you guys feel things before you see it. Your, your level of empathy your empathic abilities can be heightened and it just seems like it's moving very fast. And that's why you could be picking up on, you know, the spirit energy because it just seems like, you know, yeah. And, and I didn't show you guys this and I'm just seeing this now when I picked this up, it definitely has to do with love. Okay. A love interest. Um, that's why you're so sensitive and you could pick up on messages from beyond the spirit realm because it's like right now the energy is so high spiritually, that you're connecting with stuff, but it just feels confusing because it's kind of like, did I really see that? Did I really feel that? You know, where did that come from? Just out of the blue, all of a sudden, your intuition is opening up. But I feel like also you're getting messages that what your grandmother or mother or some female figure was saying was right. Like all at once, messages are coming to you. You're being bombarded with some type of downloads or, or insight. And if you feel like you're not intuitive like that and you feel like this is completely off of, you know, Anything that connects with you, like I said, it just could feel like all of a sudden feelings and emotions are coming at you all at once. Because that's emotions and feelings and cups. And it just feels like it's just all coming at you at once. Like you're being bombarded with these emotions that you don't feel like you have control over. Like something is definitely coming to the surface, right? Because you have this crab coming to the surface. Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. Or something could have came to the surface during cancer season. In July, because cancer season is June, July. You have seven of cups, cups, cancer, July. Is what I'm picking up also. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So, thank you so much, Pisces. And I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.